Hello everybody and welcome back to our Rain World modding tutorial series. In this video we are going to be going through how to add a room to your region. Now in the last video I explained how to set up a mod and set up a region. In this video, again, I'll be explaining how to add a room. So I won't be going over how to use a level editor in this video. They are fairly straightforward, but my go-to level editor is Rain ED, and I suggest you use it as well, as it's um, much better than the level editor that the developers used. Um, it has a great UI, so it's what I use. Now, I have mine customized with colors and all that, but to you know, let's let's assume that you already have a room. If you don't, feel free to try and follow along. Again, I'm not going to be explaining this in this video, but <clears throat> um, if you don't already know, every room uh, requires at least one entrance. So I will be doing that really quickly. There, there's our entrance, uh, and now. I shall save this. I'm going to name this xx underscore room. Hello, it's Miss Crypt from the future. I'm here because in this part of the video, I neglected to mention the fact that the name of the uh, room needs to begin with xx underscore and then the name of your room. Um, xx being your region's acronym and an underscore being, well, an underscore. Um, if it's not formatted like that, then the game won't recognize it. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I'll let you get back to uh, past Miss Crypt now. Then I will render the room. And then you'll find the room. Again, I'm not going to be explaining level editors but you'll have a TXT and a PNG. You're gonna to want to copy these and go back into your mods folder, find your mod, go to world, go to xx-rooms and paste those two in there. What you're gonna to wanna to do next is copy the name of this room. So xx underscore room, then go to your xx folder, go to world xx, and under rooms, you're going to want to paste the name of your room, followed by a space and a colon with another space. And here we are just going to say disconnected and save. What this syntax means here is basically any room under rooms will register your room so the game knows that it exists. After the colon is basically which other rooms your room connects to. We only have one room right now, so we say in place disconnected. Hello, future Ludo Crypt here interrupting the video to explain something that I should have explained. So, as said previously, every room requires at least one entrance. However, if your room has multiple entrances, then in your world file, you're going to want to uh, add, after disconnected, you're going to add a comma and a space and another disconnected. And you do that for however many connections there are. If you want your room to connect to another room, let's pretend that we have another room room two. And this has just a single entrance, right? We'll pretend. Now, the order of these disconnecteds is very specific. So inside your level editor, the locations of these, you know, entrance points matter. So according to the game, the first disconnected points to the topmost leftmost 
entrance. So you will start from the top corner of the border of your room and you will go left to right, scanning, 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 scanning until we get here. There is no other entrance that is to the left of this on the same row or above it. So this is the first one. So if we wanted to connect a room to this entrance, we would replace room two here, or we would replace this first disconnected with the name of the room we wanted to connect to. Now, you'll also have to do the same thing for the other room. So this should connect back to the room we came from, like an X. The second disconnected will point to this one as there is no other entrances to the left or above it. And this one will be last because there are no other entrances below it or to the right of it. And there are two entrances to the left and above it. So this will be the last disconnected, the third disconnected. That is the order in which these are. So that is a really quick explanation of how to have multiple connections, um, how to connect rooms between each other, how to have multiple rooms, etc. Okay, I'll let you get back to uh, past LudoCrypt to finish the rest of the tutorial. So after you add that, you can save and close that. Now, you can open Rain World. Then, when our, once our mod is installed, we can go to just any slug cat. Here I've got Monk. And using Warp Menu, we can click our region and look, there's our room and the name of our room. If we can click on it to find our room and look, there's our beautiful room. Isn't that so wonderful? In another video, I'll be showing you what this menu is and how to use it. Um, but for now, we have our room. Now, before I end the video, there are a few things that you might want to know about making rooms. Inside your world folder, every room can have a so-called tag. To add a tag, you just add another colon followed by a few uh, tags that the game offers. So, if you want to make sure if you want to make your room a shelter, you just type in shelter. If you want to make it an ancient shelter, like in Outer Expanse, you can type ancient shelter. If you want your room to be a gate, type gate. If you want your room to spawn batflies, then you type swarm room. If your room is performance heavy, then you can type perf underscore heavy. If your room is a scavenger outpost, you can type scav outpost. If your room is a scavenger merchant room, you can type scav trader. There's also no trackers, which basically disallows key items from saving in the room when key item tracking is on. If you don't know what that means, then don't worry about it. Uh, there's also arena, which will cause creature spawns to stay in their den until activated by uh, HR guard, which requires downpour. If you don't know what that means, then don't worry about it. But those are all the tags and what they will do to your room. Lastly, I'll explain what bat migration blockages do. So, if your region has a lot of batflies and you want to prevent batflies from entering a certain room, you can put that room under here. So, if I wanted to make sure no batflies will ever enter this room, I can just put the room down here. And any rooms that this connects to, if they have batflies in them, they won't be able to enter this room. So that is all I have for this video. In a future video, I will be explaining how to get the map working, how to dev tool your rooms, all of that extra stuff. But for now, this is simply how to get a room into the game so you can see it for yourself and play around in it. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.
We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.